Okay. We're going to try out the lift here. There it is. The lighting's not that great for this camera. Cause it's quality you can do at 30 frames per second I guess but uh, anyway this is the lift here it's hanging down here got a hook to hold up for 500 pounds or 440 pounds or something like that not counting its own weight um, little loud. Um, this is how it works. Kind of a commercial grade thing, more for a warehouse, but you know what? For 200 bucks, having it and getting this all installed compared to 5,000 for a actual medical version, it's a heck of a lot of money. That's not even counting installation, so I have it going up. Uh, bolts going up into the uh, um, attic going with uh, I think two inch square tubing going across and the bolts go through the tubing so it's like kind of a flat spot over the studs and there's actually a six inch high stud here and a four by four down here that's on top of the studs because they change directions and then it's a normal two by four down at that end where their where their bolts are going in this is also like three or four thick compressed. This is like, it's like the, the roof is, changes pitch and everything up there. So, um, yeah, the studs over here are going this way, and then right here, they start going that way. So, I had to get creative. But, things up there solid. I still need to patch the holes. I'm going to paint it to make it look a little nicer, uh, see what I can do. So, uh, anyways, um, yeah, we got to, I'm going to try this harness right now because this is one that's just kind of it's nice and soft one. I don't need one with a hole in the butt. Um, we have the triangle one that I use for lifting. Um, when my mom fogged away when she fell the other day, I was sitting down there. I had to pull her over to here because her legs were straight and I couldn't lift her up 200 pounds dead weight. I couldn't do it. Um, so, And then we also have this one that she will probably be using for her. And this one's got it out here. <laughs> it's got the hole for the butt. So you can do your your business on the commode, I guess. I guess you could hang there, but uh I don't know. Put a sitter on it, let her go through it, and uh yeah, she's gonna probably try to crawl through it. <laughs> but I'm not gonna I don't like my butt hanging out. So yeah, um so yeah, we got all kinds of harnesses now. This is the uh, emergency one I use. I hook up to that and a high bolt. And I was using a manual rope system to get her up. And it worked out pretty good getting her onto the gurney too when the, when the uh, ambulance got here for transport. That way she didn't have to bend her legs. All right, so I'm going to set this up and hopefully it's not too comical.
Not a one person job. <laughs> oh, good lord, Johnny. Pretend I'm on a commode. pretty good. Looks like I got a lot of travel up here. I don't, I don't remember I don't know what they said how how far it was, but you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna twist this back so when I lift me up I can again so second person needed to get her up that way more. I'm saying success. Nothing came down in my head yet. I have to make sure that Ian probably is up there good. It's when there's no weight on it, it kind of sags. When you put weight on it, it gets up on the wheel. So, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Lift me, it'll lift her because I weigh 30 pounds more than she does. So, I'm going to just lay here and. Oh, 
away with you, Bobby Dean. I'm sticking to it. It was a good quality. Not to do by yourself, though, Mom. I'm not in a position to handle it. Perhaps you would bring some care. Hey, what do you expect for 200 bucks? It did its job. So, hopefully this turned out.